Hi, it's Dave. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I got the car working on the driveway and moving along, which is brilliant. And uh, since then, I've been trying to get my PDM, the charger, working and um, not had a lot of luck, to be honest. About a year ago, I got it to work. Uh, it was kind of a combination of just plugging it all in and doing a kind of a CAN bus replay log. Somebody had put some codes online. I thought I'd just replay those and it just kicked in and worked. Uh, come to do that this year and uh, no, nah, doesn't want to know, didn't want to charge, didn't want to work at all. Partly I lost the code, which didn't help, but I've rebuilt most of it. Um, but eventually I found the solution, which was, I was looking on the My Nissan Leaf forum and um, lots of people have made great progress with the PDM in the last few months, getting it to work independently. And um, one of the things that caught my eye was a little circuit diagram, which is for a sensor for the high voltage charger cable here. <laughs> So this has four cables coming out of it, two high voltage and two kind of just signal cables. And under here, you'll see them, there's one and there's two that I've wired, wired in. Now, um, it was the last thing really for me to think, well, have I wired them around the wrong way? Because I thought it was like a, a loopback charge, uh, a loopback kind of like sensor, just say unplugged in. Um, it isn't, they're two separate wires and um, I had them around the wrong way. It's white to white, green to brown, and I had them split. So rewired that, got my code in, powered it all up, and it starts charging. Thank God for that. Um, I knew it wasn't complicated, but um, I must have just got lucky a year ago and wired that up correctly when, um, when you know, uh, I didn't this year. So that's great news. Got that wired up. I can now take the car on a few more test runs and, um, and without fear that I'm going to run out of battery power, which is great news. Got a lot of tidying to do, a lot of wiring tidying now just to get all this tidied up at the back here and a lot of code tidying to do as well because you can imagine all the testing I've been doing it's got a bit sloppy. So I'm going to do that again just thanks to all anybody that watches this that's on the, that's on the Minus and Leaf forum. Um, I've been a bit of a lurker on there but some great uh, information, really good and that wiring diagram I, I would never have really, oh, I might have got there eventually but it would have been a couple more weeks before I started taking it apart again. So thank you very much for all you people uh, who have been on there and also the, the great work that's been done on identifying the CAN bus codes that are needed for the PDM. Um, so instead of having my just replay thing that's going around circles, I can actually now pull out the codes, which isn't many, it's only a couple, and uh, I can get that working as well. So that's fantastic. So all of this, all going to be tidied up, and, um, and I'll stop killing 12 volt batteries because I've killed another one down there by leaving the boot open. I really feel like disconnecting the little light that's under there because I keep killing 12 volt batteries by leaving the boot open. But um, I've got it permanently on charge now, so just leave it like that, Dave, and um, hopefully I'll stop breaking batteries. Uh, I'm away this weekend up at Sheffield for um, some swimming competitions with my uh, eldest daughter. So I'm away now for, for four or five days. So it's gonna be a bit of a shame that I can't keep cracking on with this, but um, I will do when I return, and um, I'll probably see you in a week or two. Cheers. Ha! Ah. Thought you got rid of me, eh? But not that quickly. I thought I'd just show you it charging. Um, over here, flashy light on my charger. Jolly good. And then if I get my current meter, just stick it over one of the high voltage wires. Can we get a display on that? So about 7.8 amps, nearly 8 amps. There we go. And um, unfortunately, I need two hands to do the voltmeter, but um, it is slowly trickling up. It's about 383 volts and it was about 378 when it started so I thought I'd just show you that because it proves that it is charging and there is power going in anyway catch you next time